Hey there guys, welcome back to Dad Plays Stuff. Now today is the last in the Damon X Machina comprehensive boss guide series, and today we're tackling Eclipse. Now Eclipse is a special immortal. It's only available in the co-op missions, and it borrows power and abilities from almost all the other immortals in the game. Every single one of its abilities is not unique to it. It is basically just a conglomerate of all the other immortals combined. And as a result, it's ridiculously powerful. Especially when you're low geared. It's quite difficult to manage beating up its abilities. But we'll go into what its abilities are. And how to counter them and basically how to deal with them. Now the first ability that Eclipse steals is from the first immortal that you fight properly, Gunford. Now it's basically the massive energy field that Gunford creates that knocks you back, can deal a little bit of damage and can knock you out of the arena, killing you instantly. It's not particularly dangerous on its own, but when combined with the other abilities that Eclipse takes, it is pretty damn annoying. Next up we have Bolt, and basically it's the electric stream attack from his arc guns that are situated on the side of his body. These deal massive amounts of damage, and with Eclipse that is no different. You just need to avoid them, get away from him when he's casting it. Next up we have the Force Cannon from Dreadnought and Technically Dominator. You see a green beam coming out the front of him and then he casts a massive energy wave. Basically just get out of the way, it's not difficult to avoid but deals massive damage. Then we have Rebellion. He doesn't technically take an ability from this uh, immortal, it's more a feature. When you destroy Rebellion's metal chest plate, it reveals one of his cores. It's basically surrounded by an energy field. Eclipse, on the other hand, surrounds his entire body with it. It's basically just a defensive technique, but it is stolen. What he gains from Dominator is the Gravity Well ability. So essentially he'll pull you towards him using a big gravity ball, and if you touch it, he's going to steal your weapons, so be aware of that. Now the final ability that he takes from one of the other immortals is from Aviator. He basically takes the ability to split into three bits. Each one of the Eclipses is tanky as hell. There's only one main body, so focusing on that is usually the best way. If you destroy the Mirages, they are gone for good, so there is that upside. But they can all use every ability that I've just listed, which combined is really, really annoying. <laughs> Now this fight isn't the kind of one that I would suggest doing alone. You quite quickly get overwhelmed when he splits into three because each one of them will target you with all the listed techniques. And if you get targeted by multiple gravity wells simultaneously and then a big death beam, you're going to get wrecked pretty quick. Um, it's not a fight that's particularly easy one on one. Now, with your team, you need to have some coordination. If you see your teammates attacking a particular ball, you're probably best off going for that. It's going to save you a lot of time in the long run because you'll be able to burn its shield down and kill it a lot quicker. The orbs, um, even if they're mirages, once they're gone, you're not going to deal with them again, so there's at least that. But if you're focusing on the main body and you're the only one doing it, its shield will come up and you'll take it down, you'll deal a little bit of damage, but then the shield will come up again, and then you'll have to burn it down again. So it basically just wastes a lot of ammo. Throughout the fight there are little immortals flying around, and you do have some canisters down in the bottom, like in the Dominator fight, to throw at them. But these aren't exactly reliable ways of killing them. The best way is to team up, focus them down, and burn through the shield. Now Eclipse has two major weaknesses. The first is that he quite often will stay incredibly still when using his attacks. This is particularly true when he's using his gravity well and his force cannon. So if you see them out, lay into him. It's really good if you've got shoulder mounted lasers, especially deadly drive, because you will burn a lot of his HP off really quickly. So get up close, burn them down. 
this is even better if you've got teammates that are doing the same. Now the next weakness is actually a shield. It's actually a really good way of pinpointing which one you've been focusing on because quite often he'll blink or move really fast out of your frame of view and then you're left looking at the other two kind of mixed up with them. But if you've been focusing all on the one orb, it's going to have no shield, so that makes it stand out like a sore thumb and allows you to burn it down even quicker. Not to say that this doesn't have disadvantages because while you're trying to focus on that orb, the other two quite often get behind you and then use the the energy barrier ability which then knocks you away and you need to be really careful that you're not wandering too close to the outer barrier of the, the map because it's quite easy to just get instantly killed by that. You can also use arc guns to stun uh, Eclipse. It's not exactly the most effective technique. I always found just gunning them down was the best way as you can see at the start of the video, but it does definitely work and if you combine that with the laser cannons, it can do a lot of damage really quick. Now, if you are dealing the most damage, you will find that all three orbs will focus you down. At this point, your best bet is just try and run or kite their abilities away from your teammates and basically act as a distraction. It can be annoying, and if you don't pay too much attention, you can easily be destroyed quite quickly, especially if they use multiple gravity wells along with a force cannon on you. So, the blueprint weapon for Eclipse is a special weapon, a unique weapon. It's a gravity gun going by the name of the HAW GG90 Black Moon. Now, the gun is literally the only one of its kind in the game. It fires out, essentially, a black hole. When this hits a target, it does a lot of damage and it does have some tracking, but if it comes into contact with a surface like the ground or a wall, it just stops dead. It's quite a slow projectile, so its applications are going to be limited. I think against the Colossals, yeah, it's going to do a lot of damage and it's going to be able to hit them quite easily. But against smaller targets, it's going to have difficulty unless you're using uh, the Electro kind of guns to essentially stun them and then hit them with it. So it's going to have a limited application. So that was the video guys, thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, a comment and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and catch us next time for something similar. This is the last one of the boss series but I'm intending to make other Damon X Machina videos about other things but we'll go into that more in the future. Anywho. See you later.